The purpose of this video is to talk about the Great Migration and the push and pull factors that caused the Great Migration to happen. Remember, earlier in the year, we learned that a push factor is something that pushes you to leave a place. It's normally a bad thing that is happening that makes you want to leave. And a pull factor is something that pulls you to go to another place, something good that might happen if you leave and go somewhere else. An example of a push factor might be if you're experiencing discrimination. An example of a pull factor might be if you have a job opportunity and you want to move to where that is. The Great Migration is the mass movement of African Americans from the South to the North and West. This happened between about 1910 and 1970. So it was happening right before World War I all the way up until 1970. Migration and movement mean the same thing. And great here means like big. So great migration is another way of saying big movement, like the big movement of African-Americans. Here we have a map of the great migration. You can see that the orange color on the map key is the southern states where many African Americans lived before the Great Migration. And these blue arrows, according to the map key, are the major routes that um, African Americans took to leave the south and move to the north and to the west. These dots, like next to Portland, Seattle, Los Angeles, New York City, and Philadelphia, are the destination cities, or the places that most African Americans moved to during the Great Migration. About six million African Americans moved from the South to the North and West between 1916 and 1970. So six million people moved along these blue arrow routes and moved to these cities that are in the North and West. This is a GIF that is showing you the migration of people. So it starts in 1910 and it's showing you how the population of African Americans um, in the South decreases over time, and the population of African Americans in the North increases over time. That's because during this Great Migration, people were leaving the Southern states and moving to the Northern and Western states. African Americans got to the North and West in cars. If you were lucky enough to own a car or be able to rent a car, you would put all of your belongings in this car and drive to your destination city. But for most people, the way they got to the North was by train. This is Union Terminal, a train station, and all of these people are waiting for a train to come so that they can get on the train and move to the North. They have packed all of their belongings, all of their clothes, all of their um, memorabilia or think like pictures and photographs, all of their pots and pans, everything they own that they'll need to survive, they have packed and they are going to bring it with them either in their car or they're going to carry it onto the train uh, when they're at the train station. There are a couple of things that pushed African Americans out of the South. One thing is that many employers in the South did not hire African Americans, and if they did, it was for very little pay. So here we have an example of a help wanted sign that you may have seen in the southern states um, right around the Jim Crow era, help wanted white only. So this is an example of how employers in the South, many of them didn't even hire African Americans, and if they did, they African Americans were not paid as much as the other people that worked in that area. Another push factor is that African Americans face discrimination and violence in the Jim Crow South. Remember, we learned about Jim Crow earlier in the year when there were laws that were put into place in the southern states um, that cause segregation and discrimination for African Americans. So we looked at this photograph. Remember, it's showing you that um, there were different water fountains for white men, 
and women versus co uh, colored men and women, or remember a more appropriate way to say that today would be African-American. Um, so this kind of segregation and discrimination was happening in that Jim Crow South. Just because we haven't learned about it for a while doesn't mean it has stopped happening. It is still happening even through World War I. They also faced violence. This is a photograph of what was known as Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, after a riot broke out and people burned down. Each little square you see here was a building, a building maybe where somebody lived, apartment buildings, homes. It was known as Black Wall Street because many of these buildings were actually businesses and banks and restaurants and stores. And when this um, riot broke out in Tulsa in 1921. All of these buildings where Black owners owned businesses and they owned property and they owned homes, all of that was burnt down. So this was an example, what happened in Tulsa in 1921 was an example of the violence that African Americans were facing that they wanted to leave behind. They were pushed out of the South because of things like discrimination, and these um, different violence that they experienced. There were also things that pulled African Americans to the North and West. So African Americans sought better employment opportunities. Um, the factories in the North, in places like um, Pittsburgh, where they had steel factories, um, Chicago, where they had meat packing, Detroit, where they had the automobile industry, in New England, where they had textile factories, they were hiring African Americans and paying them maybe not an equal amount, but they were paying them better than Southern factories and farms were paying. However, African Americans still faced discrimination in the North and the West. So there were still um, racial tensions and some violence and some property damage, um, especially in Chicago. In 1919, there was something like what happened in Tulsa. So it wasn't perfect in the North. It was just less discrimination that they were facing up there. Jacob Lawrence is somebody who depicted the Great Migration through his paintings. He was a pretty famous and accomplished painter um, around this time. And some of his paintings come from what we call the Migration Series. So this is one that he painted about the violence that African Americans felt in the South. This kind of represents the lynchings that were happening. Um, when innocent African Americans were hung um, and killed in the South. They also had very few resources in the South, as you can see from this painting where he shows um, this family, they only have a few possessions because they can't earn enough to make more or to get more resources to survive. So they packed their suitcases. This is a painting that Jacob Lawrence created to show them migrating with all of their belongings in these little family units. This person has a baby. These children are walking with their belongings. He also shows how they're migrating to the north. You can see that these birds are migrating as well. And they also have all of their belongings packed in these bags. Even the children are having to go through this. He has a very famous painting of this train station that shows you all of the people shuffling into the train to Chicago, the train to New York, the train to St. Louis. And he also has this one that shows the education opportunities that were available for African Americans. Remember in the Jim Crow South, um, they had separate but equal, which meant that um, Technically, you could separate African American students and white students into different schools. And even though it was separate but equal, it wasn't really equal. So in the North, they had more opportunities for a better education than they did in the South. They also had opportunities for a job. So in this painting, he depicts a man signing people up to work in his factory or his farm or whatever business he might have. The Great Migration, remember, was that mass movement of African Americans from the South to the North and West. So families like this one, 
would pack up all of their belongings. They were pushed out of the South because they didn't have opportunities for jobs to earn money. They were facing discrimination and violence in the South. And they were pulled to the North by job opportunities and less discrimination than they faced in the South. 